Try from the depths, they said. It will be fun, they said. Where am I? I'm on some sort of a floaty thingy and surrounded by water. I'm stuck. What do I do? This game is confusing. Let's try it. Welcome to What the Math. <laughs> Hello guys, and this is From the Depth, yet another sandbox game that allows you to create various things and then destroy them with your creations. Now this game is a little bit different, it's kind of similar to Robocraft in the sense that it allows you to create vehicles, but here it is ridiculous how much you can create and what sort of complexity it does have. So essentially this game focuses on ships, whereas Robocraft focused more on um, vehicles and tanks. Uh, the other thing about this game is that it's actually single player, it's not multiplayer, even though you can create a server and you can kind of join people, but it's mostly single player. Now I'm going to be creating my first design, my first creation, and it's going to be very mathematical. I'm going to be creating, uh, hmm, let me think, what would be a perfect mathematical thing to do? A pyramid! Yes, let's make a pyramid, a floating pyramid that is going to be, let's just say, 20 by 20, 10 by 10, something like that, 20 by 20. It's going to be a pyramid with a cannon on top. And now let's see how this works. We're gonna try to uh, build our first ship. Hopefully, it does not sink. And essentially, the game, uh, this game in, in particular, has a very, very interesting, very unique sort of um, uh, vehicle creation uh, thingy magic. So here, you can either use your mouse or your keyboard. And if you master the keyboard, it's actually really, 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 really fun. It's really fun and really effective to build things really fast. There's a lot of shortcuts. You can kind of see some of them on the, on the left side. Like, for example, there's something called mirror that allows you to mirror one side of your ship completely so that you don't have to rebuild it. And um, there's also rotations, there's um, things like aligning uh, your blocks in a specific uh, specific way. And you can also shrink your blocks to look at them uh, or look through them so that you can see what's on the bottom. Um, so lots of different complexity in this game. It's uh, It's been around for about a year and it has reached quite a lot of uh, uh, quite a lot of potential, I think. Uh, now, this game is basically all about battling. So, there is a single player campaign, and there's also um, there's various missions, but from what I hear, they're really difficult. So, I may actually try them next time if this ship is successful, if I build something that can actually defeat at least one enemy. We're gonna summon an enemy here. There's actually a way to summon them by using this right here. But let's build our pyramid first. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually. Is this 10? I don't know. Uh, we're gonna try to build something that floats really well and can shoot things and can also move by itself. Now, um, if you've watched my previous video on Robocraft, I mentioned that that game um, is kind of similar to some other games, including games like Minecraft. This one is too. This is actually kind of similar to games like Space Engineers, in a sense, except that it. Oh, in this game, you can also kind of build flying machines as well. You can also build something that you would call a spaceship, except you don't really go into space. Uh, you can get, it can go really, really high up, but you don't really go into space space. Not in the same sense that it would be in Space Engineers. Uh, but here in this particular game, what's really cool is that um, you can it just there's so much variety. You can create anything from um, a flying machine, so basically an airplane using wings and uh, tail planes and so on and so forth, to a submarine to a ship, uh, basically a battle cruiser. And it uses a very complex uh, physics model where you have to, like for example, in the water, you have to be aware of not only propellers and rudders, but also buoyancy. So you have to put air pumps, um, which I'm still yet to figure out because I just started playing a few hours ago. I still don't know how they work. Uh, you, um, If in the air, you have to obviously be aware of um, lift. And if you're underwater, if you want to make a submarine with missiles, then you have to have, once again, buoyancy buoyancy but negative buoyancy you have to be able to sink i believe you have to use these lead blocks to to make your ship sink so if i were to place these actually let me show you how this works if i were to place these here it would start sinking see how this side is sort of already heavier and it's going to start sinking there you go uh, so yes, yeah, so lots of really awesome co complex things here so anyway so let's st uh, stop talking and let's start building i'm going to try to build this um awesome pyramid and let's Oh, whoa, we're really flipping here. I need to erase these. And let's try to uh, destroy something. And I just saved my design and voila. Behold, the pyramid of destruction. Come on, come with me, bro. Load pyramid. Oh, look at this beauty. 
well, not really beauty, but it's something, right? Look, <laughs> it's a pyramid that has an entrance. Uh, for some reason, it's still underwater. I don't know why it keeps sinking, even though I put so many uh, buoyancy thingamajigs here, so many pumps. Keeps sinking. But anyway, so it's wood on the inside, metal on the outside to, to give it some armor. And then we have a large cannon on top. And it floats, it's, it swims, it, it can even move, I can even move it, so I, I have propellers on the bottom there, you can kind of see them moving. And look at that beauty go, yes, that's right, nobody can stop us now, nobody, I'm telling you. So, mathematical concept has worked, it's a floating pyramid, now let's see if we can actually destroy anything. The way this cannon works is you point and you use middle mouse to shoot. Really awesome. Uh, now, there's uh, things like missiles here as well and torpedoes, but I figured I'm gonna start with a simple and effective super mega large cannon on top. Because why not, right? Unfortunately, it doesn't turn that much. It doesn't really go that far, so I have to use my rudder to try to steer my ship. So I have to be mobile, that's right. We have to be mobile. So, alright, so we're gonna spawn an enemy and try to defeat them. Uh, but before we spawn an enemy, um, let's actually do something else. Let's Before we do that, let's go here into something called qualification testing. So this is where you get to test your design by letting it be shot at uh, by AI, essentially. So I'm gonna add my pyramid, which is right here. And what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, begin test. And here we go. So let's do a free look here. Where's my pyramid? Pyramid, pyramid, oh, here you are. And here we go. So I'm being shot at from that green spot right there. And look at that, they're missing me. Haha, -ha, I'm invincible. And on the left side there, you can kind of see that it's uh, it's telling you what it's gonna do. It's preparing a laser, it's preparing, it's loading missile bater batteries. Right now it's just shooting me with normal, um, normal shells. And here we go, my first hole. Ah, irresistible. Invincible. Uh-oh. Oh no, my cannon. Oh no, that was a big blow. So... Look at that, there's a missile coming, and kaboom! Ah, oh, that did nothing. That was just a flesh wound. You cannot hurt me. My pyramid is invincible. So, so far this is pretty, going pretty well, except for my cannon, of course. My cannon has been kind of destroyed. Uh, but in terms of armor, we're doing pretty well. Okay, maybe not so much. Oh, we have a big hole in our hull now. I think we're flipping over. I think we're gonna be, okay. I spoke too soon. There's now lasers and missiles coming at me. And it looks like we are might, uh, we might, uh, yeah, we might be in trouble. We might be in a lot of trouble. But still, look at that. It's actually kind of a, a cool design. It's still kind of working. You know what, for a first ship that is completely ridiculous and pyramidal in, in shape, uh, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of actually happy that I survived for so long. We've now survived for 1 minute and 32, 33 seconds, and I believe this is it. This is it. This is game over. Okay, let's go back. So we survived for uh, 90 seconds. Uh, we're gonna end this test, go to main menu. And now let's start with, I'm gonna go to vehicle designer. Oh, just to show you. So yes, there is a campaign mode where I, from what I hear, it's really difficult. There's some really, really hard enemies to face and the story mode as well. Um, so these are more like survival modes in, in games like Minecraft where you have to actually find materials and then you have to try to uh, create various... Oh, look at that, there's a flying thingy, thingy here. Uh, basically, you have to create various um, uh, ships or submarines or aircraft by trying to collect various items. Uh, now we're, gonna, we're just gonna go in here and oh yeah there's also uh, five different um vehicle designers so there's something called space designer which allows you to create spaceships there's a missile test facility uh and benchmarker and tournament rules i'm not sure what these are but i know this one allows you to basically uh, create more turrets and more missiles we're gonna go into vanilla and just launch our pyramid again let's do the pyramid again and this time we're gonna face a real enemy Okay, I'm ready for my pyramid. I'm gonna get on top. Oh, actually, I'm gonna. I should probably hide because the last time when I tried this, someone smacked me in the face. I should have actually made like some sort of a hideout with a window. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna stand behind this. Right here. This this would make sense if I stood right here. We're gonna use third person view and engage engines. Full speed ahead. 
Okay, good. Speed is 2 meters per second. And let's uh, spawn uh, mm, something easy. Let's start with something easy. Uh, this guy sounds easy. Marauder. Or Vanguard Retrofit. Let's start with this guy. He sounds a little bit easier to kill. If I can defeat him, then I'll, I'll, I'll go for something more difficult. Alright, let's check, it, check out where he is. Oh, here he is. Oh no, he's already shooting me. Oh, darn it. Darn it. Turn to port. I mean, other one. Side, uh, starboard. That's what I was talking about. That's what I was trying to say. Starboard. He's already shooting me. Okay, let's uh, try to aim for him. If you've played games like um, World of Warships, this is actually awesome because it, uh, it's sort of like World of Warships, but with Minecraft elements. It allows you to build your own ship. So right now I'm shooting him with my cannon. I'm missing everything. Oh, I hit him. I hit him. I hit him. I'm moving toward him as well. Oh boy. Where, where is my thing? Here it is. Reloading. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Pyramid, attack! I missed everything. Pyramid, you're not helping me here. Okay, this is really not working. Okay, something just crashed. Is that me? No, I'm still alive. Look at that. Oh, I need to turn. I need to turn. I need to turn. Oh, turn. Turn the ship. No internal ammo supplies. Oh, ram him. Just ram him. Ram in. Ram full, full speed ahead. Okay, I think I have no ammo left. Well, in that case, I'm gonna board the ship! Attack! I don't have any weapons to actually use uh, use on him. But... I think he ran out of ammo as well. Alright, so it looks like this is a draw. Alright, looks like our design is not as good as I thought it would be. Let's change it a little bit. Let's try to instead put uh, some kind of a other weapon to our pyramid. So I do like the armor part, I just don't like the idea of being destroyed so quickly. Um, Alright, so let's put missiles. I think uh, missiles is a good idea, right? Yeah, so we're gonna go in here and use one of the prefabricated missiles. So there's three heat seeking missiles, or basic laser missile, or laser weapon extremely low grade, heat seeking missile. Let's go for laser missile. Okay, I'm gonna put one here. Hopefully this works. Oh yeah, look at that, there's a missile right here. And then let's put another one on this side as well. Let's put more actually, why not put more? Let's put one on every every step. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, indestructible. I just hope I don't sink. Now this is what we're talking about. Now this is a machine of destruction. This is why we have those pyramid steps. Now, no one can resist us. No one can resist us. Ah, excellent. Okay, so that's looking better. I'm not entirely sure how I have to aim the missiles, because I've never really used them before. But... Uh, yeah. Let's summon this guy, Marauder. He sounds huge, actually. So let's actually see what he looks like. And... Oh, there he is. All right. Turn the ship. Full speed ahead. Turn to starboard. Prepare our missiles, which I don't really know how they work. This guy looks amazingly big. And full speed ahead, which is not very much because it's only two meters per second. Mostly because our ship is a pyramid. Oh no, he's already firing. And ready, steady, attack! Wait, my missiles are not flying. Why are my missiles not flying toward him? Missiles! What? What's happening? What's happening to my... <gasps> he destroyed my missiles? What? Wait, did my missiles explode? Why did they explode? No! No! Oh boy. Well, looks like this is the end. Uh, missiles just exploded and they don't want to reappear. I think I did something wrong here. I'm not sure where exactly I did, but... I think I actually just shot myself in the foot. All right, last attempt. All right, so instead what we're gonna put is, we're gonna put these two huge lasers. That's right, you heard me right. Our pyramid is going to be a laser pyramid. I'm gonna put them right here, and they're gonna cause tremendous damage to our enemies. Oh boy, my, my ship is sinking. And I think as I'm putting the blocks, this is slowly turning into a submarine. 
with a cannon sticking out. Whoa, whoa, whoa too much, too many blocks, too many blocks, too many blocks. It's, uh, it's going the other way now. All right, you know what? This looks good enough. We're proudly raising our nose up, and we're gonna try to laser our way through the next battle. All right, so let's uh, let's summon the last guy, and let's see how this awesome pyramid of destruction does against the last enemy. I have a feeling everything was gonna be just fine, so let's see if I'm correct. We're gonna go for this other enemy called Kalmar. This is a very large enemy, it's supposed to be easy, but it has 4,947 blocks in it. So that's a, gonna be a very, very large enemy. Yeah, there he is. He even has sails. Uh, all right, let's turn our beauty. Oh, geez, he's already shooting me. That's not fair. Turn the ship. Uh, so slow now, because we have so many different things happening here we're very very slow okay don't don't you dare destroy my lasers i need my lasers i need my lasers so i can attack you that's right miss everything miss everything oh geez something just fell what was that that was not important whatever that was that was not important and aim and fire oh i'm missing him why am i missing him my lasers are not hitting him uh oh, that's not good. Lasers, what are you doing? One of my lasers is broken, apparently. Oh, I don't know what's going on. This is a really big ship. Big and scary ship. I don't think I'm doing anything to him. I think I'm dead, actually. Look at that. Look at that. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. But I'm going to try to attack him anyway. Turn right. No ammo left. How about lasers? Oh, my laser is still good. I'm gonna laser him. Haha! -ha. Indestructible. I mean me, not you. Not you. Oh, you're pretty good too. Oh no, my laser. No, 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 my other laser. Ah, oh, jeez. Uh, repair. Okay. Well, that's the end. So, what have we learned from this experience? Pyramids are indestructible for as long as you're okay with just being a tank. In other words, look at how many hits he needs to, to actually perform to in order for him to even uh, damage me. My pyramid is still floating, it's, it's not really sinking. On the other hand, um, in terms of weapons and in terms of balance, this is not a very good design, so we may have to try something different next time. If you have any ideas for what I should try, let me know in the comments below. Other than that, enjoy the beautiful view of destruction of this pyramid by the Marauder. It's actually surprisingly taking him too long. Um, I guess he doesn't really have that many uh, powerful weapons. But it looks like we're already tipping over. And we're going to be capsizing any second now. Our weapons are down. We have no ammo left. And we're about to be destroyed. I think I kind of like this game. I may even start playing this a little bit more. Although I'm not really sure how I can use this to teach you guys something, because uh, other than destruction and pure destructive fun, there is very limited educational potential here. Except, of course, uh, you know, learning how to build actual ships and learning a little bit more about buoyancy, balance, and so on and so forth. Holy crap, this is a powerful ship. Look at how much stuff he has here. I like his engines, too. Um, anyway, so thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe if you haven't yet. Check out some of the other videos I made about other games and, and of course, stay tuned for more videos on From the Depths. As I figure out what I'm going to do with this game, I'll try to post more videos. And if I figure out how this game works and what kind of ships work and don't work, I'm going to post a video explaining my findings. Thank you guys and game you later. Bye-bye.